So next we have uh, Miss April Fennell. Uh, April is actually a, a, a friend of mine, a local Bay Area Oakland entrepreneur, uh, one of the uh, only uh, female uh, delivery companies uh, that I know of. And uh, she's an amazing, talented entrepreneur. So what's up, Miss April? Hey, Chef Chu. How you doing? What's up? What's up? I'm so we're going to... Good, good. good. We're going to hand it over to you, okay? Okay. Woo! I've been waiting a long time, it seems like. <laughs> Hey, everybody. My name is April Fanal, and I'm the founding CEO at Pickup. Pickup is the trusted and reliable delivery support for businesses. We hope to use delivery as a tool to uplift people and empower community. But three years ago, when I started this business, I didn't just have a moment where I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to start a delivery service, and it's going to be great. Not at all what happened. What was happening for me three years ago is I was reflecting on my journey and there were things that I felt like were missing um, in my experience working in uh, corporate spaces or in the private sector that I wasn't able to show up as my whole best self. And that might be challenging for a person like myself that can check so many of the boxes. We know what those boxes are, right? All those questions that they ask you. Imagine checking those boxes and being fearful that if I check this box, then I'm not going to be received. Um, as a Black woman, as a person with a disability, as the L and LGBTQ, um, as a formerly incarcerated person, a single parent, a trauma survival, survivor, and um, a person, a college graduate, but also with a lot of student debt, that I just wasn't able to bring all of those layers of myself to um, my, my jobs. And it left me feeling really, really empty. It, and it left me feeling unsafe, even though the space may have been diverse. Um, safe and diversity didn't seem to be working out uh, for me. And it really came to a head right about the time that um, we lost Oscar Grant and I was moving back to the Bay Area. Um, I was thinking of where is it that I can land where I can bring all of me uh, to the door. And that is how Pickup was created. There are lots of things that I observed in those first, um, first year of being in business. Um, I started the business out of the backseat of my Saturn Ion. Love that car. And what I started to observe was one, that representation on so many levels was void, that I didn't see businesses owned and operated by people with the lived experiences like mine. Um, and I didn't see those businesses that were um, safe and inclusive. They may have been diverse, but again, representation I was looking for is someplace where I could show up as my whole self. Um, and I was observing that that was just not there. I was also observing that there were a lot of gigs out there, but there weren't enough jobs that were creating that safe and inclusive work environment. And also we're paying a living wage. There was a lot of focus on tech, not a lot of focus on people. Um, which brings me to that third thing that I observed and problem is that the workforce was disengaged trying to hire and recruit people, I saw so many broken folks, folks that have lived experiences that were similar to mine, but that they were not really showing up, um, embracing all of that. They were very much, uh, you know, head down, just kind of um, not showing up with the confidence. And that was a problem, which is what brought me to really land on for sure 100%. I knew that on demand wasn't the space that I wanted to be the gig a gig company is not what I wanted to be. So Pickup had to look at what, I had to look at what I could do to really be different outside of just offering delivery as a service. And what I landed on and what's bringing me a lot of um, gratification and what my team members are plugging into is not just delivery. We get to support our grocery delivery clients and feel like we're a part of the solution instead of being part of the problem. We get to support our wholesale clients with getting that food from the food manufacturer to the grocery store. We get to support our retail customers with pivoting to now be more direct to consumer facing. And we get to support restaurants that were struggling because now we have social distancing, distancing um, uh, things that we have to focus on. 
to really um, help them stay afloat and get uh, more projects that are feeding vulnerable population groups. Our team members get to plug into being, again, part of the solution and not the problem. We get to help local businesses um, create a legacy um, and make the relationship not just transactional. But there had to be more. I mentioned that the workforce that um, and recruiting was really challenging because the workforce was really disengaged. So that secret sauce, I was like looking at what makes pickup different? What's another thing that makes us different? It's the secret sauce. It's the way that we work to develop our team members and then offering that to the public to help to develop and train the workforce by offering job readiness training. Because at every stage of life, whether it's somebody is starting over, re-entering the workforce, or whether they're- I'm Sorry to interrupt you, Miss April. Your time is up. It. <laughs> but wonderful, wonderful job. Um, obviously, uh, it's an amazing people story that you're sharing with us. Um, so, just, you know, really love to hear the people's story. So we're going to invite the um, the panelists back on. Did you have an ask? And if, if you yes. didn't, can you say what that is? Yes. My ask is for what, what I would do with $125,000 is to um, upgrade our technology, our website, and the app that we use for to manage our team. Um, I would also recruit um, talent, not just on the driver's side of the operations, but also um, advisors that can really help us to um, have a clear perspective on the supply chain um, and close and tighten up some of those gaps that we have, as well as help us to cover the operational costs that it's going to take to support our, our new accounts going forward. Awesome. Thank and you. And lastly, expand our fleet. And that's in a private equity investment, is that right? Um, I am looking for, I have my little sheet. I am looking for investment in the form of learn, uh, loans, but I'm open to those terms. Uh, I just wanna say, I've gotten a, a delivery from Pickup and I thought the service was excellent. Um, Thank you. So, so where do you see Pickup going? Is it kind of a Bay Area wide uh, service or uh, do you go beyond that? Kind of what's the vision? Yeah, the vision is to expand um, nationally. However, we are hyper local right now. I think that there's a lot of room to have some positive impact right here in our backyard of the Bay Area, the Valley, Sacramento, um, and San Jose. Those are the next areas that we are looking to expand service. And the customers that we support, our business community is amazing. And they're already taking us to those areas with their growth. And so um, if, if we're not there, I'm not sure how they're going to be there. Not a question for April, but, uh, or I guess it is a question is, have you already been in contact with Rediff? And if not, can I make an introduction for you? No, I haven't. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. 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 Well, that's a great connection. It definitely reaches, uh, what you're trying to accomplish, uh, April. So, 